Hello, my name is Command Sergeant Major Retired Karen Craig, and I'm the Chairman of the Board for the We Care for America Foundation, which is the 501c3 charitable arm of the Enlisted Association of the National Guard of the United States, or INGUS. Also known as the National Guard Relief Foundation, our primary mission is to provide emergency financial assistance to the men and women of the National Guard and their families. At this time, I want to bring up a couple of slides and share some information with you about this valuable resource. Most members of the military are familiar with or have heard about the military aid societies, such as Army Emergency Relief and the Air Force Aid Society. However, I think some people are surprised to hear that the majority of National Guard members are not eligible for assistance from AER and Air Force aid unless they are on active duty orders or under some special circumstances. That's why in 1992, the leadership of INGUS initiated the We Care for America Foundation, which included an emergency relief program specifically for National Guard members. This program has grown significantly over the last 30 years, with the largest and most significant expansion occurring in just the last three years. Starting in 2020, we were fortunate to receive several large donations from USAA and the USAA Foundation. And as a result, we were able to provide almost $1 million in grants to National Guard members who were suffering financially due to the COVID pandemic. And for the first time in our history, in February 2021, we established an interest-free loan program, which basically put us on par and capable of providing the same emergency services provided by those other military aid societies. As you can see on my slide, although we don't have the exact details of the assistance provided by the foundation prior to 2004, we know that since then we have provided over $2.9 million in grants and loans, and we were there to help over 5,000 National Guard members and their families when they needed it most. National Guard Relief Foundation has three types of assistance programs. The first is called the Soldier and Airman Relief Grants for Emergencies, or what we call SARGE grants. These grants are basically assistance that doesn't have to be repaid and are available in amounts up to $500 based on a demonstrated and verified emergency need. You will note that applicants who are also an INGUS member can qualify for up to $800 in grant funds. As I mentioned previously, our second form of assistance is an interest-free loan. Loans can be provided in amounts from $500 up to as much as $2,000 based on need. A low monthly repayment plan with no interest tacked on is established upon approval. The applicant provides us with their repayment method, such as a bank transfer to We Care for America, so that the funds are automatically repaid to the foundation based on the agreed upon schedule. The third program available is used when there's a declared emergency in a particular state. Generally, a state would request our assistance and we would work with them to initiate a specific fundraising campaign to address that specific need. Then we would disperse the funds collected to the state association or another entity to distribute, distribute to the National Guard members who were affected. Or conversely, we can set aside those funds and distribute them only to individuals from that state or region using our already established application process. Like other aid societies, these programs are designed to assist National Guard members who've experienced a financial emergency related to events such as mobilization, natural disasters, fires, property loss, or other hardships. As you know, these natural disasters seem to be happening more and more often. As an example, this last year, we were able to provide grants to over 400 soldiers and airmen in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Fiona hit them hard, leaving many of them without electricity for weeks. We also assisted National Guard members in Florida for Hurricane Ian and gave grants to over 100 members in Kentucky after they were hit by a tornado. This is in addition to the frequent requests we receive for help with rent or utility bills or groceries because a person lost their job or got behind due to other unforeseen situations. The funds that we provide are intended to fill that gap and cover non-reimbursable expenses. 
and most often include things like utility bills, rent and mortgage payments, groceries, gas, or moving re and relocation expenses, medical bills, shelter due to loss of a residence, funeral expenses, and other urgent expenses we deem appropriate. These grants and our interest-free loans are limited to one per year per household. However, it is possible to receive both a grant and a loan in the same year, or at the same time, if the applicant can prove the need exists and we have the funding available. Eligibility for our emergency relief fund is another thing that has changed significantly in the last several years. And while INGUS membership and being enlisted used to be a requirement to apply, that is no longer the case. Starting in 2020, we expanded eligibility for assistance to encompass the entire National Guard community, which means that current, retired, and former National Guard members of all ranks are eligible to apply. We also accept applications from surviving spouses of National Guard members. As for the application process, we have tried to make our process as simple as possible to navigate. It starts with getting an electronic copy of our National Guard Relief Foundation verification form, which can be seen on this slide. The form can also be found on our website and downloaded, or some family programs offices already have this on file and can help a member with their application. The member generally will fill out the request portion of the form at the top, and then it is sent electronically to their unit commander, first sergeant, battalion command sergeant major, or wing command chief, who will verify through discussion with the member that the emergency or hardship exists. This verification piece can also be done by a family program's representative, particularly in the case of retirees or former members. We count on these leaders and family program reps to verify the assistance being requested from the National Guard Relief Foundation is really needed and to work with the applicant to provide guidance, referral to financial counseling, or other resources dependent upon the circumstances. Once the form is completed and electronically signed, the applicant or the family program's personnel helping him or her will go back to our website, complete a short online application with a few additional questions and upload their signed verification form. We do not require copies of bills and also do not require copies of ID cards or service documents as we're relying on the unit leadership or family programs to confirm the applicant is currently serving in the Guard or has served as a National Guard member in the past. Regardless of whether the applicant asks for a grant or a loan, we try to review the applications and provide a response, approving or denying the application within about 10 days. Okay, so that wraps up the program and how the process works. So I have just two more slides to share with you at this time. So how can you get involved and how can you help? My ask is for you to share this information with other National Guard members who might need this type of emergency assistance. We know that National Guard members are out in our communities every day rushing to help other citizens by responding to natural disasters, reacting to civil disturbances, and they're still serving our nation abroad. And we know that sometimes they have unexpected financial issues that can be hard to overcome on their own. The National Guard Relief Foundation is an excellent resource for National Guard members. And Ingus is proud to have the ability and capability to help them and their families when they need the help. Additionally, for those of you who can and are so inclined, we encourage you to support our fundraising efforts, either by participation in the combined federal campaign or by making a tax deductible donation that will help us continue to help our National Guard members. This is really about us, the National Guard community, taking care of our own. And although we are working hard to solicit corporate donors and larger funding opportunities, I can assure you that if you make a donation, 100% of your personal donation will go directly toward providing a grant to a soldier or airman who is struggling and just needs a little help. And my last slide. Just wanted to leave you with some references and our contact information. Our National Guard Relief Foundation SOP, their verification form I talked about, other program information, and the marketing informational flyer shown here can all be found on our website. 
That's also the place where you can make a donation. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact myself or our full-time director who processes all of our loan and grant applications, Chief Master Sergeant, retired Judy Perkins. We stand ready to help and will continue to work with and be available to your units and family programs personnel in the field. In closing, I just want you to know that we're committed to meeting the emergency needs of our National Guard members and their families. We will continue to work with Ingus and with the We Care for America Board of Directors to increase our funding and grow this program even further. The last thing we ever want to do is turn away a National Guard soldier or airman in need. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your service. And thank you for your support of Ingus and the We Care for America Foundation.